In the past, people used to have traditional methods of employment that guaranteed a meal and a livelihood at the end of the day. With Uganda having 85% of the population depending on agriculture, Sustainable Agriculture Program as part of Caritas, the development arm of complex diocese, embarked on training various people in different homesteads in sustainable agricultural techniques through media, seminars, trainings, and farmer exchange visits. The farmers were empowered with techniques that improved their yields and increased their income. These two were encouraged and empowered to train more of their neighbors to gain a wider scope of success, ensuring food safety and eradicating poverty at household level. One of the farmers that benefited from such interaction is Nainda Veronica of Mkozi Subkalji. She says, in the start, she did not immediately pick up the initiative as she perceived the work as difficult. When she and her colleagues were taught how to use their small land to improve their lifestyle, she jumped to the opportunity. Around her home, she now has poultry, goat farming, piggery, and banana farming. These, she says, have been able to maintain her and have helped her earn a living. More farmers like Nainda, through sharing, help each other grow by comparing different experiences. Such exchanges help to improve yields and income at individual household level. One of the farmers on the current phase in Chejabijo sub-county is George Mwanje. One of our colleagues from the farmer exchange visits told us about the possibility of making wines from apple bananas. This interested us a lot and we could hardly believe ourselves as the fruits are so readily available. With this excitement, I sought to find out what else I could learn. We were told about making our own compost manure to help our soil give back richer yields. I was able to take up poultry farming as well and I decided to devote some more of my land to growing my own maize to feed the birds. With the training I got from Sustainable Agriculture Program, I was able to learn how to store such great yields and to process them to various uses, like maize bran for my chicken. With all this, I have great hope for the future. Such trainings in sustainable agriculture techniques have helped to create incomes at household level and increased yields. We stress to the farmers that their success is best realized in collective efforts. In visiting these farmers to assess their progress, they get an opportunity to have their challenges overcome. In this, most farmers get the chance to improve their work. When the sustainable agricultural techniques start bearing fruit, this leads to massive yields that leave these farmers with surplus stock. When this happens, the farmers are encouraged to store their surplus produce in their community seed banks. The produce brought to seed banks helps to ensure availability of seeds in the coming season, thereby guaranteeing food security and eradicating poverty. Not only in storing seeds and foodstuffs, the farmers are also encouraged to collectively market their produce. One such case is the dairy production in Katagi sub-county. The milk is taken to the collection center at which market is available to the farmers. When food security has been achieved, farmers are trained in value addition processes like juice and wine making. Farmers at the Association of Sustainable Agricultural Farmers and Agroprocessors Center in Namakoma process fruits that are taken from their garden and turn them into products that not only help them deal with the surplus production but also earn them income from that which would have otherwise gone to waste.
There are platforms of marketing realized through such collectivity, increasing the bargaining power of the farmers in the market. With these interventions, a family can no longer go hungry as they either can resort to growing their own food or becoming agro-processors, winning the fight against food insecurity and poverty.